So the rules of rational exponents are the exact same as the rules of general exponents. Okay? And why pe where people mess up is they see fractions and they tend to freak out and think all hell is breaking loose. But really, it's exactly the same as anything else that we've talked about. So let's look at 5 squared times 5 to the fourth. When we are multiplying our bases, all we have to do is add our exponents. So this just becomes 5 to the sixth. Okay? 4 to the 1 half times 4 to the 2 thirds. Again, we're multiplying bases, so all we have to do is to add our exponents. This turns into 4 to the 1 half plus 2 thirds. In order to finish this up, we need to do our common denominator and combine everything. But the reason I want to show you this is the rules are exactly the same for whole number exponents as they are for fractional exponents. Okay? So what I have is on the other part of the board, board over here, is all the rules that we have already talked about for standard exponents. Okay? If we are multiplying our bases, we add our exponents. If we are dividing, we subtract. Power to power, we multiply. A negative exponent basically flips it over into the denominator. A fraction to a power, that power gets distributed in. A fraction to a negative power, power gets distributed in, and the negative sign flips our fraction. And if we have a product to a power, that power goes to both things inside. Okay? The rules are exactly the same for fraction exponents as they are for normal exponents. So don't let the fact that they're fractions scare you. Okay? Everything still holds true.